Good evening. So I want to take a look at this three-piece hole saw. It's got this great piece in the center, and that's how you store it. And the cups just twirl off of it. So you've got a three, a four, and a four and a quarter. So I want to drill a four-inch hole. into this. So that's what we're going to do. Bought this at Harbor Freight, brought it home. And when I got it home, I noticed there was no arbor. Of course, I should have noticed this at the store. It's my fault, not Harbor Freight's, but you need an arbor. And there's two types of arbors. I chose this one that has these pins that fit in these holes to reinforce. So what you do is turn up the top and that pulls the pins out and you take turn the cup onto it line up the holes and then screw that back down in and that's how you get the pins in the holes to reinforce it now I'll put that in the drill and I'll start drilling that hole okay so if you look at this top of this has a hex shape but it doesn't go all the way down at the very end it flares out and if you get that flare out in the drill chuck it will drop out it'll feel like it's tight once you start using it it'll drop out so press this up in don't press it all the way leave about an eighth of an inch at least an eighth of an inch and tighten it a video by John Heiss that said tighten all three and then I watched another video that said that was crap but I kind of trust John Heiss so I always tighten all three if you look at that there's just a little bit of run out in that so I want to cut this two before through that because of what I'm building but I kept locking up but that's more a reflection on my drill press I've been looking at the Harbor Freight drill press and it's probably not going to be long until I buy that that's a sign it went all the way through when I grabbed it Got a little off center, I wouldn't have expected that. That demonstrates the cup and the mandrel. Stick that out. So to get it back out, you screw this up and that pulls the pins back so now I can turn it. So then I screw this back in. And that's the pins that hold on to the cups. This double, this what I call a double mandrel, is recommended when you have these big cups. They do make one without the pins, so it's just this top piece without this piece. So I bought this mandrel, it was ten dollars. I would have expected it to have been in a kit with this, but it wasn't. These were sold separately. To put a cup on this, since these pins stick out, you turn this to back the pins out. Then you 
screw on the cup. And you gotta line up the holes right here. And then when I screw that, those go right in. So they hold on there and provide extra reinforcement. So just, just I'll show that again. These pins come out here and I just screw that in and those pins go down in there. Now they turn. So take them out, you do the reverse. You spin this up then you can turn off the cup. So the mandrel's $10. To use these cups, you have to have this mandrel. So this mandrel is $10. I picked it up separately. I wish it would have came with the cups, but it didn't, so no big deal. You can also take this all apart if you want to. I probably wouldn't recommend that, but you can. So now I have the mandrel for $10, the cups for $10. So I really like these cups. I bought them for wood and plastic. They most certainly work good in the wood. I demonstrated that. They have this nice little storage piece. Very simple, but so effective. So you just screw that into one of them. Screw it in like that. Then you put the next one in on top of it. These are very sharp, so be careful. And you do the third one which when I screwed that in, the gray piece slid in, not, didn't thread onto the gray piece. So I put the third one on. Nice little storage, compact for storage. I, I really like these. Um, I, I bought these for wood. They are made for bimetal and wood and plastic. They will most certainly work in wood. I demonstrated that. I do not want to demonstrate these on metal because I have no intention of ever using them on metal and I want to keep them razor sharp for the wood. So I find that most of the things I do are centric around woodworking. So nice little set of four and a quarter, four inch, three inch cups for cutting holes in just about anything. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.